this is one of those perfect days to sleep in. It's a perfect day to uh, lay on the back porch in a hammock and uh, with a little blanket and uh, maybe by a little fire and relax, is it not? But we're here. And so it's even better to be here than on the back porch in a hammock this morning. So thank you for being here. And uh, we will be blessed today by being in the presence of our God in worship. So I want to welcome you here this morning. Especially welcome those, those of you who are visiting with us today. We're so glad you're here. And uh, we hope and pray that you'll find worship meaningful here and that you'll want to come back and worship with us again and often. We, you're such a blessing for us today. Let me refer you to your uh, bulletin uh, just to highlight a couple of announcements. And there's a lot of announcements there always are, and I don't always highlight all of them, but I just want to touch on a couple. Uh, this afternoon at 3 o'clock, uh, the Little Blessings lead team uh, will be uh, sharing in, a, in what we're calling a lead team retreat. And uh, we're spending about four hours together uh, looking at uh, the Little Blessings ministry and uh, how we can improve that and, and uh, work on... Um, uh, just work on improving that, that ministry in our church. And so uh, we're meeting this afternoon at Kate Butler's house. So if you're not part of that lead team, I invite you to be in prayer uh, for that group as we spend um, Sunday afternoon away from the TV and NFL football uh, as we meet to do the good work of the church. Uh, Thursday night, uh, the uh, Leadership Development Committee will meet. And those of you who met a couple weeks ago, remember we are coming with our uh, rosters, our slates filled out, and uh, so be in prayer about the information work that you're doing. Uh, the bees will meet on Wednesday, October the 9th. Uh, you can see the note in there about the children's choir and the Star of Wonder. Uh, if your child is not participating, uh, please bring them to participate. Uh, we really anticipate a, a wonderful program from our children uh, somewhere around the second week, I think, of December, so we're excited about that. Uh, youth will meet tonight. And uh, did the youth not do a great job last week? Great job. And uh, uh, we were very blessed to be part of that um, last week in worship. You have a note about the tenor treat, and uh, we're just trying to uh, reconfirm uh, your commitments that you said you would help us with. So if you have some, uh, please fill this out again if you would and let us know. You got a note here about the red uh, green market. Uh, please take note of that. Two very important things that our church is a part of. Are there other announcements to share that I'm unaware of? We're here this morning to worship the living God. Let us prepare ourselves to do so.
Please stand if you would and join me in a responsive call to worship. Come to God with whatever faith is yours. Seek good and not evil that you may live. Seek the whole truth, and God will be with you. Give heed to the way that is blameless. Grace, mercy, and peace be yours today from Creator Christ and Holy Spirit. Remain standing for opening hymn, I Come With Joy, hymn 617. Please remain standing and say we believe using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From these he should come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Please be seated. Our offer hymn this morning is hymn 374, Standing on the Promises, as we are seating. How about that? <laughs>
hear this offertory invitation. Let us come to this time of giving not out of guilt, but in anticipation of the good we can do and of the joy to be experienced both by us and those whom we help. May our offerings and our lives bear testimony to the purposes of God revealed in Christ Jesus. Bless our offering, O God. Amen. Please be seated.
while the ushers are moving the piano so we can share Holy Communion in a minute. I may have a couple of thoughts to, to share. One is, can you hear the rain? It's the first Sunday that I've been here that it's been raining. I can hear the rain, and it's a whole, it's a soothing experience as we worship in this place. Uh, besides the amazing music of our musicians and folks, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. And who in their, uh, what church do you know that sings Standing on the Promise of Sitting Down? <laughs> Did I say that a minute ago? Without even thinking, I just said it. I went, we're going to sing Standing on the Promises as you sit down. <laughs> These guys are good. Stand, if you would, for the reading of our scripture this morning. We're reading from 2 Timothy chapter 1, excuse me, verses 1 through 14. Thank you, guys. Follow along or listen to the word of our God. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, for the sake of the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my beloved child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did, when I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day, recalling your tears. I long to see you that I may be filled with joy. I'm reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that lived first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Enos, and now, I'm sure, lives in you. For this reason, I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. Do not be ashamed, then, of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel, relying on the power of God, who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his power, to his purpose and grace. This grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before the ages began, but it has been given, but it has been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. For this gospel I was appointed to herald, appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher. And for this reason I suffer as I do. But I am not ashamed, for I know the one in whom I have put my trust, and I am sure that he is able to guard until that day what I have entrusted to him. Hold to the standard of sound teaching that you have heard from me in the faith and love of our, our in Christ Jesus. Guard the good treasure entrusted to you with the help of the Holy Spirit living in us. This is the word of God for the people of God. Please be seated. <clears throat> There are three kinds of believers in the church today. Believers, unbelievers, and make-believers. Believers, unbelievers, and make-believers. There's a story about a confident Sunday school teacher who was trying to impress his class of boys. And he asked them one morning, Why do people call me a Christian? After a few moments of silence, one of the boys responded, maybe it's because they don't know 